Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight I got this big cap dump um, all redone. This was an older one from when I did my outboard motor um, experiments. And um, so this is a little solid state relay and then one of my circuits. And um, I have these on my website. These are really cool little circuits. It's the same as this one. And um, this gives the ability to where you could choose uh, what voltage you want these to fire. So this is the little control circuit. So this senses this is set up at 24. So when we get about 24, 25, it triggers this, which dumps the cap into there. And what I have set up is to kind of simulate um, a 100 watt um, solar panel. So I have 31 volts at 3.2 amps. And then here's our charging battery sitting at 12.3. Um, and um, Player out of here. There we go. And so what we're going to do is run this, so you could see the difference in um, just using a solar panel direct charging or pulse charging the battery. And um, yeah, pretty neat. So I have these available on my website too. These smaller cap dumps for smaller um, experiments and things. This is on there. So let's just um, jump right in and fire this up. So um, this is 16. 100 volt, um, 10,000 microfarad uh, capacitors, and then this is just the 200 volt, 20 amp um, SSR solid state relay. So let's fire this up. So what we're doing here is we're triggering right at 25 volts, and uh, we're putting out oh, about 18 amps now. So. So if this was a solar panel, this is exactly 100 watts, uh, 31 volts at um, 3.2 amps input. So I have it regulated at 3.2 amps. And uh, here's our battery. This is a 100 amp hour battery. So instead of just you know charging it like that, if you want to get a battery um, off grid up to up to voltage good and help desulfate the battery, um, this is a good way to do it. So. Um, it charges pretty quickly. I mean, we're putting in a lot of amps, and you can see the little circuit has a light, and then the salt state relay does too. So, yeah. So, pretty neat. It's a good alternative way to charge a battery to where they don't get so sulfated because. A lot of the solar chargers um, don't go up to 15 volts, so usually around 14, 14.1, 14 and uh, that's not enough to equalize the cells or or get rid of the sulfation. So this is a good way to do it, and it um, really pumps the amps in nice. So yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, guys, don't forget to check out my website, canergy.store. Thanks for watching.